Spectacular views of the Blue Mountains, the cradle for the Wagwater River watershed, one of Jamaica's 26 watersheds, and the source of 40% of the water for the Kingston metropolitan area. Fresh water rolls from these hills to the valley, supplying one of Jamaica's longest rivers, the White River, flowing for 27 kilometers past bamboo groves and lush vegetation, crossing the boundary lines of the northeastern parishes of St. Anne and St. Mary, to empty into the Ultureus Fish Sanctuary and into the Caribbean Sea. A Jamaican path from hills to ocean. This is a story of a remarkable project to increase Jamaica's resilience to climate change by sustaining our watersheds, our coastlines, our land and marine resources, while empowering more Jamaicans with the required knowledge and awareness to secure their livelihoods in these spaces. The Hills to Ocean Project is funded by the European Union Global Climate Change Alliance Plus, in partnership with the Government of Jamaica to the tune of 6 million euros over five years. The project will implement integrated and sustainable landscape and coastal management interventions to tackle the thorny challenges of declining ecosystems, biodiversity loss, land degradation, and the vagaries of climate change affecting vulnerable communities in Jamaica. The project intends to stop erosion in selected watersheds to reduce degradation of important terrestrial habitats, sedimentation of the marine space, loss of soil productivity and pollution of the rivers and streams for improper waste management. The restorative activities are therefore designed towards building climate resilience and transforming managing capabilities within affected ecosystems and communities. In the lower reaches of the watershed, the flow of the Wagwater River has slowed to a trickle in parts of the picturesque Castleton Botanical Gardens. For Oswald Air, a long-time resident of the Wagwater Valley and president of a local NGO working with 17 communities, the Hills to Ocean project is a welcomed addition to the ongoing efforts to restore the watershed. These are two big resources, Castleton Gardens and the Wagwater and its tributaries. In the early days, the Wagwater was most important for fishing, for recreation, for training, we, everybody on the banks of the Wagwater, some 17 to 18,000 persons, by age 10 or so, they will be able to swim. There was a section of the river that we call Deep Hole, very deep, and it retained water. And when rainfall is low, those deep holes will gradually feed the stream with water. And by the time they are exhausted, rain would come again and refill them. All that is gone today. The Hills to Ocean project will directly benefit Castleton Gardens and many other communities and residents who make their livelihood from key economic sectors like agriculture and tourism. There are three targeted watershed management units under the project. The Wagwater WMU, including Castleton Gardens, the Rio Nuevo WMU in St. Mary, and the Rio Bueno White River WMU in St. Anne and Trelawney. The project will also focus on wetland ecosystems at Winds Morass on the coast of Falmouth Trelawney and farther inland at the Mason River Protected Area at the border of St. Anne and Clarendon, a Ramsar site known for its rich biodiversity. The Hills to Ocean project will also assess the health and distribution of seagrass beds in the Ultureus Marine Park Protected Area and at the Helsha Bay and Half Moon Bay Portland Bight Protected Area in St. Catherine and Canada. 
From hills to ocean, the downstream effect of pollution and the indiscriminate dumping of solid waste in the White River pose real threats and challenges for Ocherias. Once a sleepy fishing village, now a bustling town with vibrant tourism and other commercial interests, and the community of fishermen who were there from the beginning. Belinda Collier Morrow, a diver and chair of the White River Marine Association, which has partnered with the fishermen in the area to run the Ocherias Fish Sanctuary, remembers a time when the coral reefs were healthy and the fish were in abundance. This project will definitely help us because we're totally aligned with what this project is doing. When people clear the lands, um, you know, that's also, you know, that's also coming into the river and smothering and getting out to sea, smothering the corals. And you see the river turns brown. You can, you know, you can see it, it goes for miles out to sea when, you know, when we've had a big rain. So, you know, this project will work to address things like that. Better farming, you know, better farming practices, that will affect the river, that will in turn affect what we're doing out there. I think the Hills to Ocean is a great platform for us to really get information about how serious this is because we, as the White River Fish Sanctuary, as a local community-based group, you know, we can only do so much. Working in the sanctuary, it, it's an eye-opening. Uh, it teaches us to care, you know, the bad habits and, you know, the do and the don'ts, you know. If people have an understanding of what their actions do and why it matters, I think that is what is going to make a difference. The Planning Institute of Jamaica is the executing agency of this high-level Hills to Ocean project. A core project management unit collaborates and coordinates daily with technical experts from the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, Rural Agricultural Development Authority, RADA, and the Public Gardens Division, and from NEPA, the National Environment and Planning Agency. The implementation of this project is a direct investment in data collection and research and will strengthen the technical capacity of the National Environment and Planning Agency, ultimately bolstering its monitoring and early warning capabilities. Together, let us join hands and hearts to manage and protect Jamaica's land, wood, air and water. Given the new national campaign by the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries to grow smart and eat smart, we look forward to the new possibilities presented under this project to teach new techniques, build resilience and strengthen our island nation. RADA aims through the promotion of integrated and sustainable land management practices as well as direct transfer of knowledge to achieve these goals. The Hills to Ocean project was developed through partnership and collaboration. The direct project beneficiaries are members of the communities in the three named WMUs, but the entire Jamaican population will benefit from its outcomes. The PIOJ looks forward to continued collaboration with residents, the European Union and state partners in making this project a success. We value and appreciate the cooperation with Jamaica regarding this project as it will allow us to further progress on the joint fight on climate change. Jamaica has proven to be a pioneer in the region regarding the subject and we are very happy to see that actions are taking place every day to improve the life of Jamaicans as well as of all those sharing this planet since climate change doesn't stop at national borders.